When you're asked to solve a pair of simultaneous equations, what you're being asked to do is find a pair of values which satisfy both equations. One way to solve simultaneous equations is to do it graphically, and that just means that you're going to draw the straight line of each equation and focus in on the point of intersection or the crossing point. Now, to draw a line, what you have to do is you've got to be able to at least know you've got to at least know two points. So for the equation x minus 2y equals negative 6, and for the equation x plus y equals 6, what we can do is find two points. Now what we're going to do is, what I think is easiest, is to find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. Now, the y-intercept occurs when x is 0, the y-intercept the x-intercept occurs when y is 0. So, we just sub these values in. So when x is 0, we end up with an equation of 0 minus 2y equals negative 6. So negative 2y is negative 6. So positive 2y is positive 6. So y is just 3. And that gives us the point 0, 3. Now, when y is 0, we, our equation, when we sub in a value of y, a value of 0 for y, we end up with that. 2 times nothing is nothing, so x is just negative 6. Okay, so that gives us the point negative 6, 0. Now for our second equation, if again we find the y-intercept and we find the x-intercept, when x is 0, we end up with 0 plus y is 6, so y is just 6, which gives us a point 0, 6. And when y is 0, x plus 0 is 6, so x is 6. And that gives us two points for each equation. And now we can go and try and graph them. Now, there are two points for the first line, with 0, 3 and negative 6, 0. So let's draw these. 0, 3 would be there, and negative 6, 0, if my memory serves me right, negative 6, 0 is going to be there. Okay, so we can draw these and uh, we'll join them up and we'll extend the line okay just to make sure that uh, we can catch our crossing point now the second points set of points we've got 0 6 and 6 0 so what we end up with is 0 6 if we draw that there so 0 6 and 6 0 which would be there we then extend our lines going through each of the two points we've got, and our focus is going to be on the point of intersection. And that point of intersection is 2, 4, and we finish it off by saying that x has a value of 2 and y has a value of 4. And you can take these two values, sub them into the two equations you started with, and they should fit. They should satisfy the two equations. Okay, let's have a look at another example. This time we've got 3x plus 4y equals 12. And secondly, we've got x minus 2y equals negative 1. Okay. Now, again, what we'll do is we'll find the y-intercept. And we'll find the x-intercept for each of our lines. And we'll see how we get on. Now when x is 0, we end up with 3 lots of 0 plus 4y equals 12. That gives me that 4y is 12, so y is 3. And that gives me the point 0, 3. When y is 0, we end up with 3x plus 4 lots of 0 is equal to 12. So 3x is 12, so x is 4. And that gives me the point 4, 0. Now for my second line, if x is 0, we end up with negative 2y is equal to negative 1. Or uh, in other words, 2y is going to be positive 1. So 1y is going to be a half if we divide both sides by 2. And when y is 0, we end up with x minus 2 lots of 0. That's going to be negative 1. So x itself is negative 1, 
and that gives me the point negative one zero and of course this one is zero a half okay now these two points are very close together so really you should maybe try and find another one just sub in any value for x or y and see what comes out now what have we got for our red line we've got zero three and four zero so zero three and four zero now take the two points join them up and that's what our line looks like for our other line, we've got 0, 1 half and negative 1, 0. Now, 0, 1 half is going to be there. Negative 1, 0 is going to be there. And you see what I mean about them being so close together. So we really should find um, another point just to make sure that we're drawing things accurately. Okay. And that then gives me my crossing point as being there. And you can read the coordinates. We've got two along, one and a half up. And again, you finish off by saying that x is two and y is one and a half or 1.5. Okay, because as the coordinate comes, we have the x value first followed by the y value. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, this time we've got the equation y equals 2x. And we've got x plus y equals negative 6. Now, if we find the y-intercept, uh, what happens is you end up with y equals 2 lots of 0, which is just 0. So that gives you that this line goes through the origin. So there's no point in us finding the, the x-intercept, because that's going to give you the same point. So all we do is we just pick a number. So let's just say that x is 2. And let's just use the equation uh, to generate the value that's going to partner with 2. Okay, so y is going to be 2x, so 2 times 2, which is 4. So I know that the point 2, 4 is one which the line goes through. And for my second line, I've got x plus y is negative 6. So find the y-intercept, find the x-intercept, and let's see how we get on. Now, when x is 0, we end up with 0 plus y is negative 6, so y is just negative 6. That gives me my first point. And when y is 0, we end up with x plus 0 is negative 6, so x is negative 6. And that gives me the point negative 6, 0. So let's draw our lines and see how we end up, or what we end up with. So we've got the point 0, 0 and 2, 4. So 0, 0, we'll see is there, 2, 4, is there. We join them up and we can extend the line down like that. Okay. Now my other two points were 0, negative 6 and negative 6, 0. So we take a straight line through each of these two points and we end up with a crossing point of uh, negative 2, negative 4. And looking at the point of intersection, we can then say that the solution to the pair of simultaneous equations is that x is negative 2 and that y is negative 4. And that's us finished. Okay? Try this question yourselves. Now, the equations aren't quite in the same uh, format as uh, the ones we've done so far, but you should still by finding the x and y intercepts, you should be able to uh, work out uh, the solution to the two equations. So you've got 4x minus y minus 2 is 0. And secondly, you've got 4x plus y plus 6 is 0. Okay, so pause the video, see how you get on, and check back and see if you manage to answer the question correct or not. So, for each equation, let's see if we can find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Okay? So we'll just sub in 0 for x and sub in 0 for y and see what we get. Now, when x is 0 here, we end up with 4 lots of 0 minus y minus 2 is 0. So a negative y 
negative 2 is 0. Now if I add y to both sides, they cancel. We end up with negative 2 is so y, so y is negative 2. So that gives me my first point. Now when y is 0, we end up with 4x minus 0 minus 2 is 0. So in other words, 4x minus 2 is 0. 4x is equal to 2 if we add 2 to both sides. So x itself is 2 over 4, which is a half. So we end up with the point a half, 0. For my second line, when x is 0, we end up with 4 lots of 0 plus y plus 6 equals 0. So y plus 6 is 0. So it takes 6 away from both sides. y is negative 6. And for the other point, when y is 0, we end up with 4x plus 0 plus 6 is 0. So if we take 6 away from both sides, we get that 4x is negative 6. And then if we divide everything by 4, we get that x is negative 6 over 4, or negative 3 over 2, which is negative 1.5. Okay, so there is your point, negative 1.5, 0. So let's plot these points and see how we get on. So our first two are going to be 0, negative 2, and a half, 0. So 0, negative 2 is down here. A half, 0 is going to be here. Now again, they're quite close together, so maybe you should find um, another pair of points just to be sure that what you're doing is correct. Um, so that's going to look a bit like that. Now our other line goes through the points 0, negative 6, and negative 1.5, 0. So 0, negative 6, first of all. That's down here. And what did we say? Negative 1.5, 0. So negative 1.5, 0 will be here. So my line is going to go from there through there like that. Now you can see that my lines aren't crossing. So what I need to do is I need to just take my white line and extend it down. And uh, if you extend it down nice and straight, what you see is your crossing point is here. So if we draw an arrow to the crossing point, and the coordinates of the crossing point are negative a half, negative four. So we finish off by saying that x is negative a half, and y is negative four. So that's how you solve simultaneous equations graphically. You just uh, draw each of your lines, find the point of intersection, and read the solution from there. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.